food hall. Welcome to food house. All right, enough messing around. This is how we braise. We're not gonna get all fancy with cheesecloth, parchment, straining, and reducing. We're just gonna talk about the basic idea of braising. You can take it from there. Braising is all about cooking meats at a low temperature for a long time in a shallow amount of liquid. It's foolproof. Almost. The best parts of the animal for braising are those that do all the work in. These cuts are tougher, have lots of flavor, and mostly come from the front end of the animal. These usually have names like chuck, shoulder, short rib shank, butt, belly, neck, brisket, picnic, navel. Come on, let's get to it. These are the basic steps. Brown your meat, add your aromatics, pour in your stock, insert your meat, cook it. Here, I'm using bone-in beef plate short ribs. Salt it. Put some oil inside an enameled cast iron pot or Dutch oven and brown your meat. Now browning doesn't mean cooking it all the way through, it just means giving it that nice brown crust. Also, why do we brown first? Well, there's a lot of that flavor that we all love in that crust. And this is the thing, most of our braising liquid is composed of water. And water can only get as hot as 212 degrees, but the browning reaction that we know and love begins around 310. So the braise itself will never get that beautiful crusty brown flavor on the meat if we don't get some color on it first. Plus, it leaves behind all this. There's tons of flavor in there. Next, add chopped onion, carrot, and celery. You can add other things too, but at the very least, this three veg combo, mirepoix in French, is the foundation of many soup, stock, sauces, and stews. Give it time to saute. Add some garlic and tomato paste and let it all get that toasty color. If you're gonna add wine, add it first, so the shock of the pot will help burn off the alcohol. Then add some chicken, beef, veal, or vegetable stock. Replace your meat. Your braising liquid should be somewhere around three quarters of the way up your meat. Throw in some black pepper and a bundle of herbs like thyme, rosemary, and oregano. Ah, eh, tie it or not tie it, who cares? Okay, just as it starts to bubble, put a lid on it and into a 250 degree oven it goes. I'd give it anywhere between two and a half to seven hours, depending on the size and cut of your meat. Three to four hours is probably a good bet. Keep your oven between 250 and 275 and you'll be fine. Go make yourself a cocktail. Now there are a few places this can all go wrong. This is the biggest one. When your braising is done, it's important to let the meat rest in that braising liquid. If you take it out now, it'll dry out. So let it cool in the liquid. Now this is one of those things that tastes better the next day anyway. So let it rest, refrigerate it overnight, scrape that fat layer off the top the next day, and reheat to eat. 